I want you to see this memorial. Here's my name. Did you fight with American soldiers? Yes. I could not even carry the gun that was given to me. I wanted to back out. But I thought of my family. I had to be strong. I felt that the war wouldn't end if I didn't fight. I'm proud of you, Grandpa. We had no choice. There's no choice in war. We had to fight or be killed. We chose to be free than be under the enemy. We had to fight for freedom with our lives. Here for the bus. Yes, we have to see Felix for the donation. I'll give you some more, but I just send the money to Manila. When is the viewing? This coming weekend. It's okay, Felix. I understand. Whatever you can donate. Besides, we have no pensions. By the way, How's your back? Uh, it still hurts from that uh, severe injury that I have. Look at yourself. <laughs> you, you never got injured. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? I was a fast runner and a uh, super bullet dodger. <laughs> you see, Joe, you can shoot. But you could never dodge the bullet, especially when the enemy is so smart. You know, that sniper is so clever. You have good luck. Like what Grandpa Sam said, war makes you learn to survive. You know, I still have a horrible nightmare. You have to, you have to kill, just to survive. This is like, it's like this flag, Joe. Are you sure you want to give this to Andres? You've had this for many years. Andres deserves it better. You know, and beside, he can always pray for me out there. Tell, uh, tell Maria, I'll be in the viewing. I'll listen to me. Felix, we have yet to visit more veterans for the donations. Salamat, ha, uh, Sam, for all the things that you're doing. Hey, Joe, make sure you take care of your grandpa, okay? Be strong. All these are from the hearts of the veterans. They never thought of Andres as a poor man begging for money. He had helped many of them 
when he was alive. Thank you very much, Sam. It just really hurts that Andres fought side by side the American soldiers. But unlike many, unlike other veterans, the Filipinos are not recognized. No pension for Filipino veterans. Not even a flag from this country that he fought for. My tears are not just for Andres alone, but for many of his friends, you veterans who are not given justice. How many more veterans are going to pass away without receiving their full benefits? It is not fair. When they asked the Filipino guerrilla scouts to join them and fight under the Yusufi, you all wholeheartedly did so. But now you are still fighting for pension. After so long and many years, it is treachery for this American government to turn its back on its Filipino veterans. I feel your pain, Maria. But for now, we really must have to think about the funeral preparations. You know we will never give up. Thanks for everything. I just wish it's under different times. This government just does not care for its Filipino veterans. And we don't have much time. Grandpa, the last bus ship is in an hour. That's right. We must leave now, Maria. I also have to see the doctor tomorrow. Oh. I know, I know you're upset with me, but I can't help it, Joe. The doctor said I have to rest. I would like to help the Filipino veterans, but... But you don't have to leave. Just watch, watch all those telenovela game shows on TV. I'm so sorry. I don't want to be a burden to your mom and dad. I would like to be in the Philippines, where I can spend the rest of my life over there. I have done enough in my lifetime. I need to be home where I belong. Will you ever come back? You know I'll miss you. You can call me once a week. I will ask your uncle Bogart to teach me how to do Facebook live. You're always on Facebook anyway. Too, you might forget me. Of course I'll miss you. No, I'll never forget you. Promise me always to remember what I told you. Filipinos always fight for freedom and justice. Respect your elders and your parents. Always help those in need. Yes, Grandpa. Maybe we can visit you on your birthday. Sure, on my birthday. We'll eat lechon and lots of lumpia. Great job, Joe. 
How's your Grandpa Sam? He's okay. Caught him last night. We have to go to the front lines now. The march will begin. Let's go and fight for the veterans.